Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Most people know the importance of regular doctor and dentist visits, but many don't understand how important eye exams are. Joining us now with the results of an important roundtable discussion is Lori Grover and Dr. Mark Jackoy. Good morning, doctors. Good morning. Good morning. Let's talk a little bit about this meeting. I, I understand there was a gathering of professionals where you talked about some, some I guess, surprising and, and concerning results as it relates to the general public, especially kids, and their eye health. So, yes, Dr. Grover, myself, along with uh, leaders from other eye and vision uh, care organizations throughout the U.S., including uh, the American Optometric Association, got together to talk about what we know to be a really underutilized tool in healthcare, and that is a regular comprehensive eye exam. Um, what's ironic is that uh, when, we, when we talk to people, when we talk to consumers, when we talk to the public, eight out of 10 people will tell you that the, the sense that they fear losing the most is their sight. And yet, only one out of every two Americans tends to get their eyes examined on a regular basis. So we feel there's a bit of a disconnect there and a bit of an opportunity for us to educate uh, not only the public at, yar at large, but also other healthcare providers like primary care, your, your family physician, about the importance of regular uh, comprehensive eye exams as a part of your overall health and wellness regimen. I would agree with you that there's definitely a disconnect there. I think a lot of us um, put off, for whatever reason, having a comprehensive eye exam. Let's talk, too, a little bit about um, as it relates to kids, uh, because I'm surprised how many of them have undiagnosed vision problems, because I feel like teachers are more tuned into problems as well as primary care physicians or pediatricians. That's a really important point, is that children, um, have a lot of silent conditions that you can't pick up by looking at them. You may under, you know, it may be manifest in the, the child having difficulty learning how to crawl or walk. Um, underlying visual problems are not necessarily related to acuity, which is how well the child sees. So oftentimes if you think your child's had an acuity test at school, it's gonna miss a lot of important aspects of their visual system. So a comprehensive eye exam is really important because you need to take a comprehensive look at not only the eye, but how the eyes work together in conjunction with the visual system to find some of these undiagnosed vision problems that can prevent a child from having a lifetime of good vision. You can also pick up on other health problems in an eye exam, right? Yes, yes, and in a lot of our adults we're finding diabetes and hypertension and we're understanding uh, if individuals have risks for other conditions like heart attack or stroke, um, neurological problems. So it's really important because these underlying medical conditions are often first time detected through a comprehensive eye exam with dilation. I think the key to remember here is that early intervention is key. So the sooner we can pick up on it, the sooner we can refer to primary care uh, for a timely referral and manage these health conditions as they arise. Where can people go for more information? You can go to the uh, AOA.org and where there's a doctor locator, find an optometrist close by. You can find a school or college of optometry at OPTED.org. There's also a lot of great eye health information on LensCrafters.com. Uh, you can actually go on and schedule your eye exam online today. Uh, at a location that is uh, convenient for you at a time that works for you. So if you have not had your eyes examined within the last year, uh, we highly recommend that you uh, take, take the few minutes to make that appointment today before, uh, before anything else gets in the way. Wonderful. Thank you to you both. We appreciate your time.